So, something interesting happened on uh, during Raw tonight. Apparently, hashtag fire Ronda Rousey was trending. And it got a lot of attention. It even got Ronda Rousey's attention, apparently. Where she basically quoted, you know, the fact that... Well, I guess she... Well, she didn't quote, but she basically said uh, in a tweet that, yeah... You keep chanting her name, yet I'm still here, and she ran away. Basically referring to Sasha and the fact that Sasha's name got chanted at her uh, during her match with Shotzi at Survivor Series on Saturday. And apparently, apparently, like I said, uh, this response was made, it looks like, during um, Raw tonight and mostly during um, the trend of hashtag fire Ronda Rousey. But why was it trending? Why was this hashtag out there? Was it because of Alex Hicks, just Alex Central, Alex's World, you know, or just Alex here on YouTube? Uh, was it because, of, you know, was it because of his clip? of his live stream where he talked about, um, you know, and ranted about the whole Ronda phoning in situation. You know, could it be that? Because what he did, if you need a, a bit of explanation, is he edited out, well, he didn't take it out of his live stream, but he clipped it out, edited, clipped it out of his live stream where he talked about the Ronda Shotzi match from Survivor Series and basically... Um, ranted uh, on the fact that Rhonda just feels like she doesn't want to be there and she's just phoning it in. And guess what? He's not alone in that. JD from NY206, in the calmest way he could, um, mentioned that. He even did a clip. He even, you know, took out a clip from his live stream review of Survivor Series and basically said something similar. And others have been kind of vocal on YouTube and social media as well about the whole scenario. And look, everybody has a right to their opinion. I'm not denying that. You know, everybody has a right to their opinion uh, when it comes to how they feel about things. You know, when that's just our town, what it looks like right now. Um, during Christmas, anyway. But anyway, getting back on topic, you know, everybody has a right to their opinions. I'm not denying that. You know, I'm not saying people shouldn't express how they feel. But the question is, should Ronda be fired? Should hashtag fire Ronda Rousey, you know, be something that WWE, during its current and new regime, you know, about giving the fans what they want, you know, setting things right, you know, receiving, you know, backlash, receiving fan, uh, I guess you could say criticism and all that and taking it into serious consideration, you know, should they uh, take this into consideration? Should they look at this hashtag and really consider that maybe Rhonda is not the best for business right now? Maybe... Maybe letting Rhonda go, cutting ties with her, might be the best option. You know, should they consider it? And should they even think about firing Rhonda? And I'll look at it this way. I'll look at it this way. Everybody deserves an opportunity. Everybody deserves a second chance, maybe even a third or fourth chance. You know, to, to live out their dream and to prove that they belong. And I get it, Rhonda, she may not be as she was during her first run. And yeah, she had some moments there that weren't so bright, but she did prove that she could, um, depending on who she's in the ring with, she could, you know, wrestle. She could go. She could put on decent matches. And that's great. You know, that's perfect. I mean, everybody praised her debut match teaming with Kurt Angle against Triple H and Stephanie, you know, at WrestleMania a couple of years ago. People praised her matches, you know, with uh, 
Charlotte Flair from WrestleMania Backlash earlier this year. Some have even praised her match, you know, against um, against Alexa Bliss. Not the SummerSlam match, uh, uh, but more so the uh, the following match at Night of Champions. Sorry about that, but anyway, they praised her match there because it was a little bit more of a decent match with Alexa than the SummerSlam match. But even they praised that a little bit as kind of being one of the more dominant um, matches they've seen for someone that was going after a championship and for being played up right, where the heel was, you know, no, was very cowardly to get in the ring um, with someone like Ronda, knowing that, yeah, they're going to kick my ass. But the storyline, in a way, played out well because Alexa kind of learned. Uh, from her situation of, you know, I, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be in the ring with this girl, I gotta, you know, get an advantage. I gotta have an advantage over her. And, you know, she got the advantage. But again, even in the end, that didn't help her. You know, that didn't help her. But again, you know, Ronda has had some decent moments. There's no doubt. Decent matches, you know, throughout, you know, her first run and somewhat her current run. But I can understand why fans, you know, look at and view the, view at the look and view. I should not look and view. I'm I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm tired right now. Uh, but look at and kind of view it as you know her phoning it in because basically it's her opponents. You know, it's the opponents she's in, and maybe it's the fact that they see that you know she doesn't have the roster of opponents she needs. You know, to go up against, you know, to really, you know, prove, prove herself. To really, you know, be allowed to carry herself uh, in a way that shows, you know, in a way that shows that, um, you know, in a way that shows, you know, that she's, um, She's arrived, you know, she, you know, she belongs, if you will. You know, she hasn't had that opportunity to, to really uh, prove that um, in the long run. She hasn't. And I'm sorry, I was trying to cross the street there, but I seem a little off and talk, you know, it seemed like I kind of lost track, I do apologize. But anyway, it's basically a lack of opponents, and I think... In Rhonda's mind, it you know if she doesn't have the you know kind of opponents that she feels is going to motivate her, why should she even care? And I think that's how a lot of people view it. You know the fact that she does not have, you know the reason she's phoning it in and feels like she just doesn't want to be there anymore, despite being the SmackDown Women's Champion, you know on the top tier brand right now, the most watched brand of WWE which is SmackDown on Fox, you know, if she doesn't, you know, want to, you know, doesn't want to give it her all and, you know, be a team player and act like, hey, I really want to be here, you know, then, you know, why why even have her as the champion? You know, why even have, the, have her as the champion? But, again, I think what it is, and this is something that people have pointed out, it's you know it's a lack of opponents, but even but here's what they here's what some fans, some people have said that even with the lack of opponents for her to face, she shouldn't have to you know just phone it in and say you know what I'm I'm just not going to do this you know I don't feel motivated or anything to do this I'm not doing it period you know you know she you know she she should feel more like well. Is the best I got? I got to work with it. You know, and that's true. You know, it, it's like with any job. You know, like today, you know, we were kind of slow. Even, well, not totally slow. We, were, we had our moments. We were kind of like mid, if you will. Kind of like a mid-slow, mid-fast, or mid-busy, or mid-ease. A Mizzy, if you will, Mizzy, like mid, busy, Mizzy. It was kind of like a Mizzy. 
and um, you know, you know, we we didn't feel discouraged. You know, sometimes you know there are people in jobs that feel that way. If there's nothing really motivational to do, or they there's not enough business to even warrant being there. And for Rhonda, I do agree that it shouldn't matter if she has certain opponents to go up against. You know, she should be motivated. You know, you're being given, you know, a run with the SmackDown Women's Championship for a second time. You should, you know, be more motivated, more willing. Don't feel like, you know, uh, I just I just don't want to be here because I have a lack of opponents. No. You know, be there because you want to be there. Be there because you want to help be a team player. Don't feel discouraged because you don't have the people you want to face. But we'll see what happens with Rhonda in the future. As I've said before in a video, uh, and also an audio podcast, I think they just need to talk to her. I think they need to take her aside, that being Triple H, Stephanie, whoever, and say, look, you need, uh, you need to start giving it you all, your all in everything. You need to... You know, you need to make this work. And if not, then you shouldn't be here. Or work out something to where, as people, like others have said, get the title off her and let her go home. It's like, if it's basically something to do with her family and she wants to be with her family, her daughter, then work something out to where she can do that. End of story. But, you know, should she be fired overall? No. I, I don't think she should be. I think... What they need to do is just sit her down and talk things out and try to work out something that basically states, hey, you know, um, we know, you know, we could see you obviously phoning it in, but we want to know why. And if it has to do something with your family, let us know and we can work something out. That That's about it. I don't think she should be fired. I think they should just talk, talk to her and work something out. That's about it. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are and I will talk to you all later.